Hello, it's Sarah and Kiwi. <laughs> I am creating these little ornaments, you guys. Uh, I don't know what it was, but I saw some dot painted um, trees and I thought I'm doing it. I got my Glowforge, you know, my little, uh, it's a laser cutter. So I print out some tree ornament shapes. I just went and did a few ornament ornament shapes because I want to play with these and I'm having a blast. I think I'm going to do another shape, like a little more. Anyway, I don't want to talk. I want to do. All right. I think I'm going to do this one with you guys because I can get you through it pretty quickly. Um, I've done some dot painting with, um, oh gosh, I can't think of her name. I'll try to, I'll put it in the description box. Um, man, Kirsten, Kirsten, oh, I can't think of it. Anyway, she has tutorials of, I did a, a big uh, dream catcher. I did a dream catcher. I did a peace sign. I've done a lot of different, like, look, here's this little, so this is the dot painting that I do. I just made mandala shapes all over this M, right? So... I also got the tip for this tools that I use. This is a specific crochet set. Again, I will put it in the description box because I don't remember the name. I do know that it was at um, my Joann's. Did carry these. I bought these in the store. I think I got this stylus set from Amazon and it was, I think they call it, they may call it a nail, a tool set for nails, like for painting nail art, nail art tools or something, but I call it a stylus. And it's just, in the crafting world, you'll even call it a ball tool or something. Um, you can do it with a pencil. There's a lot of different ways to get these dots. I'm not a perfectionist with it. I think they look good enough and it, you know, you get the idea. So I just came up with this little pattern. I used a, um, a chalk pencil. So I'm going to do this one. It's very basic. Okay. This one I just kind of played around with um, making these little star shapes. Kind of like, uh, see the snowflakes? So this one's done. But then I, I have two in the works here that I kind of tweaked a little and made them a little different. And I have to do my top dots on the um, garland or the lights. It could be considered a string of lights either way. So I've, I've been tweaking them as I went. So at first I started with a smaller size as well. So I have these little guys. I was playing around with my colors. So I feel like I can go ahead and share with you guys. Although I just went to this one, which is more of a blue spruce color. It's like a blue green. It's really coming across blue on camera. And I have to do all my top dots on here too. Anyway, then I have this one. This one's in the works. This is a piece that I had in my stash, and it it's a little chunkier. Anyway, all right, so here you go. And I'm hoping that you'll be able to find, I didn't sand this, find these um, in your craft store still, just a blank tree shape. If not, you can probably get, you know, a buddy of yours to cut one out for you. You could do it on cardstock, not cardstock, um, chipboard um, if you don't have wood. But it's a super easy shape to make. It's just a bunch, you know, we've all made these when we were in kindergarten. Um, so that's all I need to do. All right. I also like to use this bubble palette. And I actually got a whole six pack of them at, at the Dollar Tree. They had these, um, I, there's one Dollar Tree in my area that has everything. Like, it's the best Dollar Tree ever. My Dollar Tree doesn't have as much, but they're not as strong plastic, but they're perfect for, the reason is you want to put a puddle in here and keep it, if you put it on a flat surface, you're going to get, it's going to dry up faster. And I have a fan on because I'm in my workout clothes and I'm kind of hot already. All right. So all you need to do, and you probably don't really need to do um, the lines, but I like to because it just, I don't have to think, and it makes it more um, easier for me to just follow the line. So I'm going to start kind of here. I'm just going to go over and down. It just looks nice. It's, it's kind of 
a pretty flow for me and then maybe end it right there that's it that's all I'm gonna do as far as design wise now we're just gonna dot I'm gonna start with a color that you don't need to use it but I <laughs> I am loving this it's called gold mother of pearl and these are the um, Martha Stewart pearl pearlescent um, I have a lot of them Martha Stewart multi-surface pearl they have them now paint is in short supply in the craft stores guys so just use what you have it's just that this specific color kind of makes me feel like there's an aura behind it so I put it behind it's not showing up on that okay here so if I turn look you can only see the white dot now but when I turn it uh, like that you see the halo effect it gives you anyway so I'm putting my primary dot with this. I don't know why I'm yelling. I think I'm on two cups of coffee. And this is generally a pretty good, yeah, it's a pretty good texture. The paint has to be, not. I'm not that perfect at it. I don't try to, but um, Kirsten, I think her name is Kristen. Kristen, I think her name is Kristen Urig. It's totally, I think that's her name. She's the one who does these mandalas, and she's like really good at it. I'm going to use my smallest um, crochet hook. Anyway, the, the consistency of the paint, she'll actually mix it, and, and I had some too. I had some of this airbrush paint. I've had it in my stash forever. I finally opened it. It's a clear airbrush paint, and it's very fluid, so you can add this to your paint if it's too thick. And some of these pearls are very thick, but this is perfect. It's got a little stringiness to it, but it it will break and just start dotting I try to get it as close as I can to the net the one next to it without touching but I should probably be looking at it from this side then if it touches it's not the worst thing in the world but I just kinda I like the look of it so it's going to be personal preference too as in all things crafty don't do it the way I do it just because you know I say so because you may know something I don't know and that's why I love trying new things and I love to so all of these are different pretty much you know how I don't do anything twice <laughs> Pretty much, I can't duplicate it. It's going to be different in some way. This one probably will be pretty similar to that one because um, I want this video to go smoothly and not be a bunch of um, me thinking about it. My puddle is running out a little bit. I'm just going to continue and while this is drying because I can't really put uh, top dots on the the next step I have to really let that dry we'll put our ornaments on oops see I really need to look from the back Ooh, that didn't go all the way there we go this color guys uh, I really I wanted white and I didn't realize what it was but now that it is what it is it's I don't know it's so fabulous okay I'm gonna let that dry and all I do is just use a baby wipe and just wipe the stylus off when you're done or the tool so for my tree I have several I have red yellow blue and that's it I think that's the only colors I use and pink I did use pink. I'm going to do purple this time because this purple is so popping. I just love that purple. So I think I'm going to do red, purple. Let me, I'm just going to pull them forward. Purple, red, yellow, and turquoise. That is going to be my colors for my ornaments. And I'm going to try and put at least one big one of each color and then I'll go down in size a little bit because I just like the variation so see there's a there a few different sizes I mean I could just make them all the same size something tells me 
not to. I don't know why. And so far these are looking good consistency wise. So usually it's the pearl paints that are a lot thicker. I don't know why, but so far, yeah, these seem like they're going to, um, the purple is actually, this is called Lavender by Americana. This one seems kind of thick. Um, yeah, see that one's a little bit more like pudding. You kind of want it to be like a drizzle. Like you want to be able, I've been cooking lately and you want to be able to, um, anyway. All right, I'm going to go to, let's go to the yellow. So I have, I think it's yellow, red, blue. It could be orange. Yeah, orange. It's the size. I'm going to go with the orange one first. And just make... That's a decent size. Let me come down a little. I don't want to come out of the shot. And really, you don't need to see it as close up. I'm going to put a big one right up here. And do I want to put one more big one? I do. Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm just going to leave that there and just push down. So they come out pretty round. See, I mean, they're not absolutely perfect, perfect. See, like that at the bottom of it, I could probably fix it. But I don't need to fix it. But you could tap it in and, yeah, whatever. I got it a little roundier. Um, I'll put my big ones on of the other colors, too. And then I'll fill in with a couple of, let's put a big turquoise right there, and a big, I think that's all the big ones of that, a big yellow right there, right there. And then purple. Let me see. Now I might have to add that um, airbrush paint to the purple. Eh, I do. I want to see how it stays like a little bit too Hershey Kisses. It's too Hershey Kisses. So I'm just going to take, oh, you probably didn't see that because I'm zoomed in. I'll take a little drop of this. All right, like two drops and just it just changes the fluidity of the paint without changing the color and Kristen Urig is the expert at this man and she gets all her paints ready before she goes and because I'm I'm just too uh, okay let me think okay good so I'm going I'm gonna try this Gonna do a big purple right here, right over here, and I want another big purple uh, up there. Good enough. Um, now I'm just gonna go down in size. So I'm gonna take that red one, which is the next one down. I'm gonna put another red right here and I need another red one over here I think that's all kind of need red over here so I'll put up the next size oh wait go to blue I'm gonna run out of room so I'm getting carried away there's no blue up here yeah, I, I'm, I'm getting way carried away with the color. See, this is what happens to me with color. I need a blue right there. So I'm going to put a blue, and then I think I'm going to have to stop. Because it's getting too carried away. Um, that's it. So now I want to look and see. Okay, I'm going to paint the base with, we can do our star and the base. What I've been doing is either silver or gold for the star. I have a silver star on this one, and I have a gold star. I have a silver base and a gold base. So I think I'm going to do the gold base and the silver star. So I'm going to base coat this little base 
with brown. I mean, I don't know. It's just, I could just put gold right on top of the black, but I feel like this, putting the brown, like, kind of separates it out. And I'm just putting the brown in the middle. Just going to use this little, um, where's my paint, this paintbrush? Probably should have done this first because I'm bumping into my garland. Let that dry. I'll probably put another coat as well. But let's do the star. This is my favorite. Oh, you know what I found too? I've had this in my stash. This is called a heavy body acrylic and it's um, a gold paint. It's by Dina Wakely and I have it and I'm going to use it and I happen to have this. I don't know if I want to even use this, but I'm just going to squirt it out and see. It's pretty thick and so I'm going to add a little bit of that. Um, airbrush paint. I mean, it might work differently with a metallic, but let me just use a, hey Maddie. Uh oh. And it's just changing the consistency of it to make it less, because that was a heavy body paint, so. If it doesn't look right, I will wipe it off real quick. And I'll, um, I have my favorite gold, which is uh, Glorious Gold by DecoArt. I kind of want to stir this with, uh, it still looks really thick. I'm going to add another drop. Sorry, guys. Like, this is the stuff that I don't want to have to do. Like, this is why Kristen is smart, because she does all this off camera. Gets her paint ready, but that's not how I roll. Ooh, and I just splashed it. That look, That's much better. Although it doesn't fully look mixed. It looks a little... Um, swirly. I think it could still be gorge. I'm going to do the star and I'm just going to use a stylus for this. Let's go with not the biggest but the next size. And I'm going to do right at the, okay I'll come in. Oh good I'm kind of zoomed. Like at the point of each I'm just going to put the dot and walk it down. So I'm going to put the dot and walk it to the tip of the uh, star. And that's it for now. I think I like the, the way that looks. Like I don't want to fill it all in. That's how I've been doing it. And this one I had the glorious gold come on the glorious gold is so pretty so I mean this may not be my favorite color gold but for some reason the glorious gold is so glorious all right I think I'm gonna do another coat on my brown Let that dry. So I'm going to go ahead and put my, um, I can't do my top dots yet. They really need to dry. But right on here, I'll do it on, um, where am I? Oh, I didn't do it on them. We can do top dots on these. See, this is all I'm going to do is um, silver on here. I, I meant to do silver on the star doesn't matter. It does not matter. Um, I might as well just start doing the green 
although I'm also going to use the gold for the little hanger. I don't know if you can notice it on here. See, I put a little gold dot at the top of each of those balls just to give the illusion that it's an ornament. I don't know if anybody's ever going to know but us. <laughs> but I think that these dots have dried enough for me to get uh, a little... I'm going to go this size. And I'm going to use this gold. It's not my favorite. Kiwi, what do you want? What are you doing, huh? So not necessary, but I love the details. I know I'm missing some. I'm going to go a little smaller. Hope I have a big one right here. And there's a big one over here. So these stylus have uh, different size dots on the ends of them. So you can kind of get really, really small if you want. I'm sure I could use the toothpick. The end of that toothpick would even be smaller. So there's a lot of things you can use. Um, oh, what is her name? Lydia May is another daughter that I like to watch. And she uses dowels, like a, you can go buy a, buy a pack of dowels in graduating sizes and cut them down and use those. Let me just get a Q-tip. I see a little, I don't really, I could get that off or cover it. So that's what it's looking like so far. It looks like a Christmas tree, right? Um... I can put my silver on the stand and I'm going to do the green. I'll just move right into the green and then I'm going to have to top dot everything after it's all dry. Um, let's go with, I'm just going to use my biggest stylus. Where is it? This one. For the silver. And I just kind of this is really thick too, so I'm, I'm not taking the time to thin it down. Maybe I'll just use water. That ought to work. A little wet, but see, that's like a puddle. I'm just going to suck it up. You can tell that it's wet. See, I'm an amateur. I'm going to just re-dot them because they're not looking as uh, fluffy. But I will just cover this whole thing so that probably will um, not be as noticeable by the time I'm done. But it is kind of, I'm, I'm going to pull it off. You know why? Because I can. I'm going to recoat the brown. All right, so I'm going to move on. Let me just throw, well, I'll let it dry and I'm going to recoat that because I just didn't like the way that was sitting and I'll do it right. I just, I don't want to rush through it because I'm on camera. So here's what you can do with the green. There's so many things. This is a very Christmassy green looking one, and this one kind of is a little more teal, and it's not, I'm gonna put them down and come up a little bit and see if the camera can pick it up. Oh yeah, you can tell. So, I then I found this other color, which is kind of like more of a blue, I'm gonna use this one. I wanna see this on a, um, a bigger piece, because I've done, several variations of green because there's lots of different kinds of, of uh, pine trees. You know, there's um, 
There's the blue spruce, which I love, and we have a few of those in my neighborhood. Then there's your scrub pines and all different kinds. So this tree is my magical tree. It's going to be done with, I'm going to use this color, I think, right? Is this what I, yep. And this is called blue, oh, I thought it was called blue spruce, but it's called blue haze. And I'm just going to start dotting. The consistency of this one's pretty good, so thankfully. I'm going to go a little, I think I'm just going to start with the blue and fill in as much as I can. So you basically just want to, like I said, get as close to things without touching. Ooh, that's pretty big. And then as I go down in size, Oops, I don't want to get too close. It just looks cleaner when they're not touching and they're not on top overlapping, in other words. I'm going to cover that place that I didn't like. But I also don't want to put all big ones next to each other. So I start, I space them out. Now this is my philosophy. It's not the only way to go. You don't have to do it this way. I mean, there is something to, um, what your eye likes and, you know, the theory of threes and all that stuff to make the project look balanced. But in this case, we're just making an ornament, you guys. Like, it's not going to hang in a museum somewhere to be uh, judged and picked apart. Just get it on there. Don't sweat it. Enjoy the process. And I'm just kind of filling in. I like the... I'll put a little one. i got to check the time real quick. Ooh, okay. I'm going for a walk in a little bit. Um, these are so nice to make dots with these um, crochet hooks they're so nice so I'm going to move to my stylus though because that's the next biggest size I have it's just different when you when you have that flat bottom of the crochet hook it's just something about it it just makes a really nice dot because you can just set it down on the piece it's different um, anyway, I'm going to continue on. This is just my biggest stylus, my ball tool. And again, I'm just going to go as close to it, but don't touch. And gradually, this will fill in. I'm going to move to my next stylus after that. And then my next one. And gradually be down to the tiniest little spaces of black showing. So I want to fill in all of the rest of the black background. Alright, so I'll be right back when I'm really, really close. Okay, so I'm, I've covered most of the black and I'm just going to show you now. I'm going in. This is a pretty small stylus and what I do is I just where it fits the best and then I'll keep dotting off the paint as it gets because as, as you dot you can make at least four dots before you fully run out of paint and this way they get a little smaller each time and I just can fill let's see I'll fill that and you get so much more variation in size. Oops, just really, I don't want to touch the other dots, so I just have to be careful. I, it really spoils the overall um, look of it if, you, if they start to touch. It's just a personal preference that I prefer to try to stick with, not letting them touch. Hopefully I'm in the shot. Because this is such, such serenity here. This is so peaceful. Um, I love it so much.
so that's it guys the basic way that I do it and now I don't know that it is the best way to go to have every bit of the black covered but it's just I like it like that so it's just like again personal preference maybe it would look better having some open space I don't know but for me I think that the the um, beauty of this oh touched touched that's that's not bad I only have like one that I've touched so um, the beauty of this dotting is the texture that's what I love about it so the dots are the texture they give you the texture so I don't know having any blank space isn't going to achieve that so I try putting a dot in every little blank space see I need to go smaller I'm getting to the point where it's like I just need to get the tiniest little dots now and everything's pretty much drying up and I think we can start to top dot I can I'm going to attempt to put the top dots on my um, garland and I'm just going to use white, straight white on top of that um, halo gold or whatever it's called, gold mother of pearl. It's not halo gold. I think of it as a halo. Look, see all this little black spot here, space? I'm going to fill that in. So I'm going to go big. See, I made three different size dots. Oops, I'm getting hasty. <laughs> Matt said, slow down, lady. I only, I don't have a lot of speeds. I have one speed, generally. I'm working on it. I am working on it. Um, I actually kind of like the way the, the base looks with that um, silver smudged through the brown and the black coming through. Like, it's a really cool... Um, faux finish almost so I'm just gonna leave it for now but I'll end up dotting it oh I see one other spot here I will come back and finish filling that in but that isn't that so cool you guys oh my god without top dots it looks great so it could be done right now all right but then I mean and the one lady Kirsten Urig she puts two, three layers sometimes. So she'll put top dot after top dot. And it just gives it more texture. But, I mean, we could call this done with that little faux finish bottom. Good. But anyway, I'm going to go for this, though. I kind of like, see how it's just white? And then you see the shine. So that kind of makes me feel like it's the light is illuminating, right? I did the back dot with the blue, so I'm going to go to my next size down. I'm going to get some white out. Let's go with white. I bought, um, I bought, I think, an Aileen's white. I don't see it, but because I'm running out of white. White, black. I have to just go replenish my basic colors. Whoops, there we go. All right, this is so awesome. Just be careful you don't put your fingers in your dots. That's the only downside to this. And I haven't done it. I only did it on one so far. So I'm just going to, right in the center, put another dot. A top dot. And, oops, try to be, take your time. Oh my gosh, I'm going to come down. Because I think I want you to see what I see. Hopefully that'll focus. And you can still see the purple isn't quite dry. But there's, I think it's dry enough that I could put a top dot on it. It's just that it, the paint won't do, it, do its thing if there's a wet puddle under it. It needs some place to sit, kind of. So... Like, look, that one has a little black showing through, so I'm going to try and cover that. Mm 
and because you want them uniform I'm dipping every time some if you want them to um, graduate down in size you keep going but I want these to be all the same size so I got to redip dip 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 back and forth and sometimes I'm picking up more paint I tend to scoop instead of just dunk and you know you'll catch yourself doing little things like that that will change the consistency of the dot so it's a very kind of thoughtful process you can't just be flinging paint in too like if it's too stringy or too wet you can splash so I just I tend to try to move faster when I'm on video because I don't want it to take forever <gasps> I'm loving that. Do do see? Look, see how it ooh ooh ooh. All right. So let's see. I can top dot my ornaments. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come up so you can see what I'm doing. And the idea, what Kristen does anyway, and what a lot of the daughters do is they use these metallic paints as their top dots to just give it that extra oomph and shine. So that's what I've been doing, and I bought all these metallics to do that. Now, I also had this one Glamour Dust by um, Deco or Ultra Fine Pink. I put that on top of my red, so I'll show you what that looks like. It's a glitter, and you can see it. It looks like a highlight, so I'm putting that on top of my red because the red that I have, this, um, the Martha Stewart, it's very close to the red paint so you can't really let's see I did one of them ah you believe okay this is hot shots hot shots this is the um it it's you can see it like I see the metallic -y shine of it it's cool I don't know I kind of like it <laughs> I'm just going to use the glitter I like mm, no I'm not I can't make decisions I'm going to use the glitter so we're going to top dot all the red ones with this pink glitter just to make it like um, look a little more uh, round and just because it's amazing. That's why. All right, let me come down again. And I have my bigger, see? I mean, and when it dries, it looks a little more red because it's transparent. It is a transparent paint and it's just going to be glittery. Right now it looks super pink, but it doesn't look as pink when it dries. It just looks pink glitter type thing. All right, now I have to go down in size a little bit. Because I don't want to just cover, completely cover the red. It's supposed to be a little smaller. Like a highlight it's just a little highlight dot let's go with the yellow now on the yellow I used a, a neon and you can see it but I think I want to use a pearl I think I'm gonna use the uh, I could use that gold pearl I'm gonna try it I wonder if it's still see it might have dried up already I'm gonna put some fresh out but that gold mother of pearl might give a nice yellowy. It might pick up on the yellow and be, I think, I think it's going to be good. So let's go for it. Kiwi, you are just having a blast, aren't you? She's just preening her little. Oh, that's going to be gorge. Because when it dries, it'll just be, the yellow will show through. Do I have any more yellows? That's the only two yellows I did. All right. Blue. Um, I used this a blue pearl. Let's see. I think I'm going to use it because it's just a tad different, but it shows pretty. It's nice. Okay, let's see. I have to find these things. Here. It's called, it's a Martha Stewart. It's called Splash. But it's like a turquoise. So, and I'm, I gotta use a different palette.
and they're still wet. You can see the wetness there, but, um, oh, I got to get this phone call. Hold on. All right, I am going to do that blue. It's a little stringy, but I think it'll be okay. I just want it to flatten out and not be like a Hershey kiss. I'll tell you, Christmas is the and Halloween now. Now, I painted a lot of Halloween stuff and it was so fun. But Christmas and Halloween are like my funnest time things to paint because they're so bright and colorful. Like you can get away with all the bling and all the glam and glitter. All right, so I only have to do the purple. And I'm going to use, I have like a, uh, here it is. Purple Gerbera. I don't know why, but it's like a lavendery color. I just love it. I think I'm going to have to do one with like all purple because I'm I'm in a I was a pink girl for a long time. Now I'm like purple girl. Purple. Oh my god, I love it. It's like this is like a pinky purple. Hopefully it'll flatten. See, this might be the if it's not quite dry, maybe it pokes up too much or something. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's 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 just happiness. I can't I can't even. Now, I'm also going to say I kind of like the tree not as bright because you it doesn't distract from the gorgeousness of the ornaments like on this tree, the green is so popping you don't really see the ornaments as good. It's the same thing. So I might do a flat top dot. A little bit of a different, um, I still have to let that dry. Uh-oh, there's a little, I gotta get a Q-tip, toothpick. What is this? There's something here. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Let me get my cute, my, um, what are they called? My tweezers. They're around here somewhere. Um, anywho, this is just so fun. I cannot find my tweezers. I'm going to do operation. This is operation. Messed up that one. I'm going to top dot it though. But somehow a little flake got in there and it messed up the texture of the dot. I could just re-dot it, which I think I might do. I'm just going to take this and kind of blot it out oh boy I really just don't want to add to the mess of it okay so I I took off as much as I could and I'm gonna top dot it with the same color the base color that I just used the green um, gently and It doesn't look the same. It has, um, look, I'm doing surgery, and this doesn't need to be on video, and I'm being so picky, but it was perfect. I'm going to rebase this uh, brown, and I'm going to decide whether I'm going to um, top dot the the background. I think I am. But that's basically it, you guys. It's just a matter of deciding. And I, like I said, I think the ornaments are way more popping if I don't top dot the background dots with a bling color. So I'm going to decide. And then I did, um, let's see. I varnished with a satin. So I just used um, a satin varnish by Ceram Coat. You can get this at your craft store as well. Um, and then you're just gonna, you know, here's another cool thing I just wanted to share. 
um, I cut these on my Glowforge and the wood I used it's just called draft board but it comes with a um, these aren't done yet but there's a a tape they coat it with a tape so that when the burner burns it doesn't the burn doesn't get on the wood so I can peel that off at the end and have a totally clean background so that's just a bonus so alright you guys um, that's it I think I'm gonna let you go I am loving this I'm gonna keep moving I have several more to do I'm gonna bring one to my girlfriend right now and I hope you guys have a wonderful day thanks for watching